Hi everyone, welcome to Eat Me Recipes. Today I'll be showing you how to make duck curry. The ingredients for this recipe is in the description box below. And there you will also find a link for the full written step-by-step -step recipe, which is on eatmerecipes.co.za. First things first, you want to bring out the duck. I managed to get mine already cut. Remove the duck from the packaging. Next you want to give it a rinse. I also remove the skin of the duck as a lot of hair can be found on it, so it's best to remove it. Peel and chop the onion and blend or grate the tomatoes. For this recipe, I'm using my 30cm AMC pot. On medium high heat, add in the vegetable oil. Add in the onions, a few sprigs of thyme, bay leaves, star anise seeds, cinnamon sticks, and a black cardamom pod also known as alcha. Give everything a good mix. Allow the onions to sauté until translucent. Once the onions are translucent, add in turmeric powder, cardamom or ilachi powder, garam masala, cumin or jeera powder, coriander or dhania powder, chili powder or masala, and crushed ginger and garlic. Mix well until all the spices are combined. Thereafter, you want to add in the duck. Add salt to taste. Mix well until the duck is coated in the spices. Cover with the lid and allow the meat to seal in the spices for 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, give it a quick stir. Add in the tomatoes. Add in curry leaves. Freshly chopped coriander or dhania and a little boiling water. Mix everything well. Cover with the lid and allow to cook until the duck is soft. This could take about 30 minutes up to 3 hours depending on how tough the duck is or where it was purchased from. This duck took me 30 minutes to cook. The duck is cooked when the knife can easily go through the wing of the duck. Next, add in the peas. This is optional. Mix well.
Have it allowed to cook for about 5 to 10 minutes or until the peas are soft. Once the peas are soft, you can give the curry a stir. Turn off the heat and plate. Garnish with freshly chopped coriander or dania. This duck curry is ready to be served. This curry can be served with rice, bread or rotis. Duck meat can be a bit tough but it's absolutely delicious and this is what it looks like on the inside. Just a quick reminder, the quantities are in the description box below and there you will also find the direct link for the full written recipe which is on eatmerecipes.co.za. I hope you enjoyed this recipe. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and also drop some recipe requests in the comment section and I will try to do those recipes as soon as I can. Enjoy!